everyone, and welcome back to the Custom Spotlight series. Today we're on a different location, with a whole bunch of engines running around us. But that's not what we're focusing on today. Today we're focusing on a special Thomas. Now I bet what you're thinking. What? It's just a glow-in-the-dark Thomas on a snowy covered one. Well, you're half right. Let me go ahead and get some batteries and I can truly show you what this Thomas has in store. This case just loves to not go on sometimes. Okay, got it. This is a Light up lamp glow in the dark special tops. Now I put what you're thinking. Didn't you already make one of those and used it in your magic railroad remake thing? Well, the truth is, this actually is the footplate to that Thomas. Although the shell was probably repurposed for something, I don't remember what. And I don't exactly have the original wheels to it, but I got a new light. This time I soldered it to the actual motor. So now Thomas can light up and go a little bit faster. Now, funny enough, as I was getting ready to review this yesterday, the black wire actually came off and he had to be re-soldered. So that's kind of a downside of the wires kind of being exposed. But they're not exactly in, in any set place, but there they are. Now, why don't I go ahead and show off the, the glow-in-the-dark aspect of this model. Get my flashlight here, shining on the wheels. And let's turn off the studio lights. I've got a little bit of light in the background, but as you can see, get the flashlight. His wheels do glow in the dark. And then I also have some rolling stock over here that didn't come with the Thomas, but are there anyway. Some light back in here. Now I believe this truck here came with a Tim came with Timothy. All I did was glue a face to it and give it some light up wheels. This truck here came with a Lexi, and I gave it one of the loads that Gator came with. He also has a glued on face and light up wheels. Now a little something I find I think would be fun is why don't we see this guy in action? Now I know what you're thinking. Why would I run this Thomas a Trackmaster 2 Thomas on Tomy Track? They can't run on them. Well, I did take a Dremel tool, I believe, and I kind of sawed away. The, the connecting bit down here, so now Thomas can run on Tony Track. So, let's give him a run. All right, here we go. Well, I believe that's everything I have to show off for this model. I hope you all enjoyed it. Wait, I'm not again. Oh, well, it looks like the previous thing that brought me the Shed 17 models have brought me my great race models. So I guess I'll review those next time. See you all then. <laughs>